What's up you guys? My name is Katie Corio. And I'm Weston Boucher. Welcome to this video. Make sure you subscribe to both of our YouTube channels as we post new videos each and every week. So today's video is going to be our top meals that we eat all year long. They're protein packed, they're low fat, moderate carbs, and we're going to break down all the macros for each meal. We're going to show you a little bit of the prep and uh, everything that goes into our diet all week and why we eat the way we do. Yes, so without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Here's meal one. Okay, this is one of my favorites. So this is the protein packed, low carb spaghetti squash. Look at this bad boy. So it's a super good option if you are trying to do low carb and you love pasta and spaghetti. Spaghetti squash, you guys, introducing. This is a pretty small one. Usually we get one that's literally twice as big as this, but it's surprising how much squash can come out of this little guy. These are the ingredients that you'll need. We like to use Rayo's homemade arrabbiata sauce because we like spicy, so. And the macros are pretty good on that. Macros actually. are pretty good. Um, we got our spaghetti squash here. He chopped up half of a yellow onion, our 99% lean ground turkey breast. So, the first thing we did was preheat our, our little toaster oven to 425 degrees mm -hmm. and now it's time to open up the squash. The squash does take about 40 minutes to cook so you're going to want to do this step first. Be careful when you do this for sure. Oh my god, don't cut your finger off. Oh my god, what are you doing? What? This isn't how you, you do it? so scary from my point of view. <laughs> I think it, just, it looks like it's going to just shank your finger. Well, rather than just going like this, it is risky unless you have like a samurai sword. No, no, you definitely have to pierce it first. Yeah, like this. See? Okay, look, God. Oh, God, your fingers. No, 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 they're over here. They're over here. See? They're over yeah. here. Okay. Like that. Get a good center line. You can kind of like this. And voila. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There's going to be these strings. It's kind of like when you carve a pumpkin during Halloween. You just got to scrape all that stuff out. So now that that is done, the, ne the next step you're going to take is to take your nonstick pan, put them on your pan. We like to season it by just drizzling some olive oil over the squash like that. Cracked bell pepper. <laughs> no, cracked pepper, black pepper, and some salt. Okay, so you're gonna put your uh, squash face down on your pan, and that bad boy's gonna go into the oven for 40 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Got that? 40 minutes, 425. Step two, let's get this uh, turkey cooked. We're gonna use our olive oil again. Whoa, 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 don't dump that in there yet. Oh, okay. Next, you have to wait for the oil to heat and then add the onions, let the onions brown a bit, and then you put the turkey in. Clearly, because, I've never done this before. <laughs> because that will release the flavors. A few moments later. I love the sizzle sound of onions yeah, and olive oil. Oh, that just makes me hungry. I mean, hearing that. Now you're gonna let that brown up just a tad, and then you're gonna add the turkey. Do you know that that releases the onion flavors? No. Oh. Italian cooking. Wow, bonus. Okay. Bonus tip. All right. So as you can see, it's browning a bit. So now you're gonna add the turkey. This is one of your favorite meals, huh? Yeah. Every sure. time we make it, you get for so sure. excited. Now, normally though, I would actually salt this a bit with some garlic salt. Now I think about it. I personally like all the garlic I can get. Garlic and onion, olive oil, just all complimentary. Then I can just kind of lightly pop it in there without splashing my face with hot oil, as long as I just kind of get this really good spatula. Just kind of fast. And I put it in on the side that I didn't season, I can get the back side. Okay guys, so now that we have our squash cooked, so you want to make sure that it cools down a bit so you don't burn your fingers because they will be extremely hot. What I like to do is weigh it out as I put it in my bowl. So since we do track macros, this is an easy way to do it. Got my bowl on my scale and I'm gonna zero it out and just scrape out the inside of this squash. Just take a fork and you're gonna comb out all of the spaghetti squash. And as you can see, it's like spaghetti. It's like noodles, so it should come out like this. You can see how hot it is. It's cool, um, it just does that naturally. Yeah. It's just the fibers of the squash. Uh, yeah, so it should, if you cooked it enough, it should just kind of fall out of the squash with very little effort. And we're gonna do that to the other side and then show you the next step. So all of this spaghetti squash is only 15 carbs, which is extreme because if you had that much pasta, it'd be like upwards of 75 grams of carbs. So it's time for the sauce. Um, 
when I look here, it says it's a half a cup for a serving size, which is 125 grams. So there's two of us. So I'm just gonna zero out the scale here with the pot on here already. And then um, I'm just gonna pour in until I get to 250 grams because that would basically be two servings. All right, I'm gonna add the protein. So got the scale zeroed out, even though the squash is in there, that makes sense. And I'm gonna go for six ounces because I want a grip of protein. Almost there. See, it's not that hard once you get the uh, hang of the scale and zeroing things out. Almost. All right, six ounces. All right, so we got the sauce and zeroed out again on the scale and we're gonna pour on 125 grams because that's what it said on the back, which will make it a lot easier when you uh, enter it into MyFitnessPal. To top it off, we love spicy food, so anytime we can make food spicier, we do. So we're gonna add some crushed red pepper to our bowls and some black, cracked. <laughs> <laughs> this is killing you today. Black pepper corn? Yeah, it's just ground black pepper. Thank you to our bowls. And then call it a day and we're gonna go stuff our faces with this. It's been so hard to do this video today because we got back from the gym a long time ago and I've been super hungry, but I had to like check into my flight for tomorrow on the phone with like really stupid people on customer service. Just if anybody who knows Weston, they know that he gets angry. Irrational. <laughs> You're like, yeah. So I'm so ready to eat this. I'm of you. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay. Protein packed, low fat spaghetti squash. Mmm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. This oh, this makes me so happy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Give me a shock how good What's going on guys? Hey guys. It's lunch time. It's lunch time. <laughs> and that means it's taco time. It's taco time. It's taco Tuesday. Yep. Oh my god, it is. Yeah. Oh. It worked out. Wow. Okay. So this is our good favorite, I think one of our, I think our top favorite recipe. Yeah, it's the one we eat the most. The most. Yeah. It's so good. Healthy, low-carb tacos made instantly almost. Super easy. Very quick. Very quick. So, first I'll kick off with the type of meat we're using today, which is none other than Laura's Lean ground beef. This is 96% lean, 4% fat, so super, super lean ground beef. What I love about Laura's Lean is it's no nitrates added, no hormones ever, no antibiotics. It's the it's all organic. It's the best quality meat you could ever ever buy, and you can get it delivered right to your doorstep. So the link for this will be below. I highly recommend it. It's so so good. It's also in most grocery stores. Yeah, like this. And they have various cuts and, and other meats. Yeah, as they well. don't just have beef. They yeah, have like chicken and, and and even some amazing beef jerky. Um, yeah. So, so go ahead. No, you're still talking about beef. Okay, about beef. That. So we cooked our beef and we seasoned it with this um, taco seasoning from Trader Joe's. I actually just read on the back from a product of South Africa. Interesting. Wow. Oh, okay. But so, I went there last year, that's why. Yeah. So we both did. Uh, um, yeah, so anyways, we cooked it in this seasoning just to give it that extra taco flavor. And it's low sodium, it's only 260 milligrams serving. A lot of taco seasonings can be outrageously high on sodium, so. Okay, take it away. All right, so after we uh, cooked the beef, we did it in a wok and it was just real simple and you just sprinkle the taco seasoning on. Pretty straightforward, I think you guys can figure that out. Um, the next thing is the all important El Paso taco shells with the stand and stuff. These are the best. We were doing tacos for quite a while without having known, known these existed. And if you've made tacos before, they are so easy to break. Uh, because they don't have this width added in. They're flat on the bottom, so they literally stand up like this. Yeah. And you can put, you can stuff on stand and stuff. Yeah, so that, that's what we're gonna have for our base shell. And then uh, we have some fresh uh, chopped onion, and then we have some avocado as well. And then the sour cream alternative that we always go for is a non-fat plain Greek yogurt. This is very, very high protein, 22 grams of serving, which is pretty gnarly. And then the, the key ingredient. Mm -hmm, the green dragon sauce from Trader Joe's. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, I'm Order so sorry. Online. Try and get it online. It's the best. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, so the next thing we're gonna do is pop these in the toaster oven to get these nice and crispy. Alright, so these are ready to pick, uh, pull out of the toaster oven. 
Uh, but I did want to mention that these are super low carbs. So there's two shells are only 16 carbs total and uh, you get two grams of protein. Let's see what it looks like again. Great. Okay, let's go see if they're ready. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. It smells so good. I forgot the plate. Mm. Wow, they look pretty toasty and delicious. Yeah. Um, I don't recommend doing this with your fingers, but I'm kind of a savage, so. Oh, it's hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oil right on the tips. <laughs> All right, next step, we are going to teach you how to make these like professionals. So, take your stand and stuff taco. Take your Greek yogurt, and you're gonna coat the entire inside of the taco shell in Greek yogurt. Why do we do this? Because this acts like a glue, and it keeps all the stuffings from falling all over the place mm -hmm. when you take your first bite and so on. So yeah, don't don't mess up this step, or it's annoying. The whole to eat inside them. perfection. Yeah. Next. Step numero dos. We are gonna take our beef that we cooked and stuff your tacos with the beef. I am counting macros, so I'm gonna make sure that I only have three ounces of beef because that's what I counted for. So I put my uh, plate with my taco shells on the scale, I zeroed it out, I put it on ounces, and now I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna fill it until it says two ounces, or three. Three. Okay. three, 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 sorry. Three ounces. By the way, you can do that same approach to do the um, Greek yogurt, just put the shells on there with the plate, zero it out, add the yogurt until you get to the amount of grams for a serving or whatever you want for your macros. Yep, so each ingredient, if you are measuring per ingredient, just zero it out in between each one. Cool. I don't know if we mentioned it yet in any of the uh, recipes, but the MyFitnessPal app is totally free. There's alternatives I've heard of um, as well, I can't think of the names right now, but they all essentially do uh, the same thing. It's just really great even if you don't want to do this all the time just try and do it for a day and then try a week and just see where you weigh in at maybe you're way over on calories maybe you're way under maybe you're taking in way more carbs and not enough protein it's just yeah. a good way to kind of get a, a, a reading on kind of how your your overall yeah food intake is yeah aware yeah you yeah. want to weigh yours too or are you going to do it just um uh, i'm gonna uh, eyeball it eyeball it there you go. i don't have a shoot like in the next like a few days so I'll be fine. All right, while well, he's eyeballing, I'm gonna add my onions to, you know what? I'm gonna layer the sauce, actually. I'm gonna put a layer of sauce in between. I'm actually okay. a professional eyeballer, by the way. Me too. Like I could put this on the scale. I'll eyeball you. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> professional. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so the fresh onions are really going to add a lot of flavor to the beef and it complements the green dragon sauce a lot. By the way, if you want to do your onions professionally, don't cut Shut them up. like this. You cut my onions then. <laughs> what? They look good. I, I appreciate the effort. It's just... Did you know, guys, that if you put your onions in the fridge, they will um, not make you cry as much? This is a tip I learned from my mama. All right, all done. Let's hear the crunch. This is the real test. Get it close takes a lot of willpower to, to get through these recipes and come to the... talk to camera. I just want to eat it. Okay, come close to the camera so we can hear okay, it really good. Yeah. yeah. Alright, here we go. Whoa, you just put that whole entire taco in your mouth. Mm. Oh my god. It's horrible. I got two more, so. Mm -mm -mm. Is it good? So good. Yay! Mm -hmm. Well, guys. It's our lean beef. There you have Low it. Carb, high protein. All right guys, spicy turkey chili. This is one of our favorites to make. It's super easy. The full recipe will be below. It's super high protein, low carb, and literally one of the easiest meals to make. You can make it in advance, eat it throughout the week. That's what we usually do. And it's so easy to do. So we have red bell pepper here, diced tomatoes. This is spicy tomato sauce. We like to use the spiciness. Um, go ahead. Um, yeah, one chopped onion. And then our protein is the 99% lean ground turkey. The beans we're using for this one is going to be cannellini beans, kidney beans, and black beans. Now you can add or subtract any ingredient from this. It's You can add sweet potato or corn or literally anything, carrots, celery, 
whatever you want to make it yours, do it because this is basically totally customizable. You get them like golden brown and then the seasoning for the turkey itself. All right guys, we're just gonna dump all of our ingredients in the crock pot while the turkey tooks. <laughs> the turkey the turkey tooks. <laughs> well, the By the way, are you sick? Because you sound nasally. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do this? I'm trying to save you from <laughs> troll comments. No, she's just sick is all. All right. Okay, so to ensure that your chili is not too dry, you're gonna wanna add water and sauce until the wetness level is just at the top of all the ingredients. See how the water level's at the top? That's the perfect amount of wetness for your chili. Once you have it like that, you're gonna put the top on, cook it on low for about eight hours. Well, not even eight hours, probably four to eight hours. You'll be able to tell when your house smells good. <laughs> Seems accurate. Yeah. Either twice the time or half the time. <laughs> Full recipe will be below in the description. And one last final ingredient that you must for the flavor is to add one standard rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to clear up the time of cooking, if you guys only have like four hours before you want to eat it, cook it on high. If you have the whole day, if you make it in the morning, you want to eat it that night, cook it on low all day, you'll be fine. Six hours later. All right, it's ready to go. Steaming. Smells amazing. We got a half cup scooper. So if you want to track this, um, you can enter the recipe, you know, one at a time in MyFitnessPal as you do it, or you can copy the one we have in the description below for exactly what we used and, you know, the amount of turkey and whatnot. Uh, so what we did here is we put the bowl in here, we zeroed it out, and now we can add the toppings we want and calculate those. Uh, so you just want to do this based on what you like and how much your macros will allow based on your goals. All right, you guys, we are going to show you now one of our go-to meals for lunch, which is... The albacore tuna melt, or albacore tuna... Tuna salad, healthy version. Yeah. This is something we make every week. We always make it and keep it in the fridge and eat off of it through the week. So it's a great thing to do. Really easy meal prep um, idea if you have a busy schedule like us. If you want to like pre-make your meals or lunches to take with you to work or school or whatever, this is a really good option. Um, and it's super high protein, very low carb, and very, very tasty. And at the end of each of these like we've been doing, we're going to show you the macro breakdown so you can see exactly what's in it and why we choose these certain ingredients. Okay, so we have the fat-free cheddar. Obviously, if you're not a cheese person, you can sub some other type of alternative. So there's two bread options, but these are pretty much just competitors, and they're great because I think the overall carbs are only like 18 grams maybe for, for two, two slices. slices. Which is crazy. Yeah. Obviously, we have avocados. That's gonna make it so it's not as dry. This is essential because be the tuna too. can give you a little dry sometimes. Uh, we're going with Miracle Whip Light. Um, if you don't like Miracle Whip, you can find some sort of sub. Uh, I yogurt works sometimes. Oh yeah, I like a Greek yogurt Greek type. Yogurt, like yeah. Clean. Okay. I like the Dijon mustard. If you're not a fan, I think it adds a lot of flavor. I like to add the sweet pickles because it adds a little crunch. It cut them up really tiny, and I just like the pickled taste with the tuna. It complements it really well. Yeah. We also are big spicy people, so we are gonna put some pickled jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers in there. And then to um, season with salt and pepper. And then we have our tuna here. We get this off of Amazon Fresh, actually. Yeah. Um, but you can get it whatever, wherever. Uh, These are the big cans, too. They're not the right. regular small ones, so. I'd recommend this one. This brand is really good. And get the ones in water and low sodium. That's what we usually get. Yeah, not okay. the oil ones. Yeah, and don't get the oil ones. Okay, this cracker might look cheesy, but it's really, really good. Low fat, really low carb for the amount of crackers that you get to eat. So it's a little hack that we found. Full recipe below, we are gonna show you with a time lapse 
how we make this. All right, so you gotta do it in the right stages. So you got this mix, and now we're gonna prep the bread with that. And once this is all on here, we can add the cheese, and then we'll put in the toaster oven for that first stage of getting the melt. You don't wanna put the avocado on or the Dijon mustard before the toasting process, or it's gonna get kind of weird, and you don't really want hot avocado, right? That is gross. Yeah. Actually, we had, we had fried avocado slices in Germany once. Remember how good it was? Oh, that's true. Huh. Well, maybe we'll try it next time then. Next time. All right, so that ended up being a good six minutes probably. You want to make sure it's toasted enough so it's crunchy. There's nothing worse than a tuna melt with soft bread. Uh, cheese is melted, so next step is coming. Here's a flavor blast. Dijon's really strong. So adds a lot in my opinion, but not, it's not for everyone. Avocado. That's why I show you both options. Caveman style. And for the ladies. Last but not least, salt and pepper. Mmm. It's so good. It might not look like it, but it's really good. And I think this is a huge Game changer. All right, so oh. that's that one. The macros and the recipe breakdown are all gonna be either on the screen or in the description below. Yes, on to the next meal. What's going on, guys? Good morning. Well, for us at least, for this meal, we're gonna do our open face breakfast sandwich, which is uh, still high protein. It uh, floats around somewhere like 27 grams of protein if you do. Uh, the two eggs and the two pieces of turkey bacon. Um, and if you want to do something that's more low fat, you can do the egg whites. Instead of both eggs. Like, I think I'm going to do some egg whites and one egg, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so besides that, yeah, we got avocado, we got tomato, and then we have these uh, light 100 calorie um, English, English muffins. muffins. So these actually aren't too bad in terms of carbs. They're about 25 grams for one muffin. Um, and then Katie likes the option of using the bread that we also show uh, with our avocado tuna toast. Right, yeah. this is uh, two slices for only 18 carbs. So if you are lower on carbs, you can totally do two slices of this bread to save a bit. And then uh, these Morningstar um, sausage patties are like an alternative, they're a veggie version. You can do that also instead of the turkey bacon, maybe if you want a different option. Yeah, just to switch it up. Yeah, the protein's pretty good. These are nine grams uh, for That's one good. patty. And then um, some people are weird about spray butter. They just don't like the idea. We don't care. I like uh, I the, the way it just kind of gives at least the essence of a butter, <laughs> a little flavor. So we'll spray that at some point before we put everything together. All right, let's get started. Let's make this thing. I'm starving. Okay, so I decided to actually do a lower fat, lower carb option just to show you the variation. Um, so I did all egg whites for my sandwiches, but the trick is to cook them so they're pretty flat. So you cook them and then you like kind of bunch them together and then press it down with your spatula like this to make them flat. And I did two, this is one cup of egg whites because I'm gonna have two pieces of the low carb bread. Um, so I'm doing one for each piece of bread. Did you want this on your thing before? I already sprayed it. Oh. So just so you guys know, I do have a morning start patty under there on one side and I'm gonna do bacon on this side. And my eggs are done already, those are over easy. And these are nice and toasty. It's good enough for you? Yeah. Okay. Good enough for me. Getting our avocado ready. We're gonna spray. This is definitely one of the best uh, turkey bacons I've found. It doesn't just end up being, I don't know, thin, tiny little pieces. I don't think the Jenny O one is very good, honestly, compared to this. The Applegate Naturals, pretty solid. So while we finish the bacon, I'm gonna show you how I do my avocado because I do track macros, so we're gonna weigh it out. So I zeroed out the scale, and I'm gonna do about a quarter of an avocado on this side. Oops, and then a quarter on this side. And that's it, 44 grams. All right, these are ready to eat. So they're all layered, as you can see. 
we got the turkey bacon at the base, and then the avocado, the tomato, the egg. You can arrange it however you want because it can be kind of slippery if you're not careful. But we are going to show you all the macros as promised. And yeah, this is definitely one of our favorites for breakfast. Go ahead and take a bite. Okay. With pleasure. Oh my gosh. Ready? Mmm. Wow. Yeah, the trick with the egg is you gotta cook it a little bit more than you maybe normally would so mm -hmm. that it doesn't get super messy. And obviously, you can add a little drop of hot sauce on the top if you want. You can totally customize these as much as you want. Well, not exactly. Well, yeah, they can if they want to do like other ingredients and they put them in their macros. Yeah, I just don't recommend like adding two tablespoons of, of mayonnaise or something. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> obviously not oh. that. Okay, good job. Okay. See ya. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you loved watching us make all of our favorite healthy go-to meals. If you want to try them, all the recipes and macro breakdown will be below in the description box. So please let us know if you do, drop a comment and let us know how you liked them. Yeah, and uh, be sure you subscribe before you go as both of our channels are going to have new videos each and every week like we said. There's tons of free info. We talk about health, fitness, um, I talk about style and all sorts of other things as well. And we both respectively have different health and fitness related ebook products in case you want to go more in depth on diet and training. All the info would be below in yeah, the description. Pretty much. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Hi. <laughs>